President, my question is to the Minister for Emergency Services. Uh, Minister, last week the United Firefighters Union launched a disrespectful and dishonest advertising campaign designed to create fear and further destroy the reputation of CFA volunteers. Fire Rescue Commissioner and mate of the UFU's Peter Marshall, Ken Block, has backed the campaign. And I therefore ask, Minister, do you and government policy support this disrespectful and dishonest campaign? Uh, thank you, President, um, and uh, happy to respond to uh, Mr Davis's question in my capacity as Minister for Emergency Services. Um, it's a fantastic honour to be appointed as the Minister for Emergency Services. Victoria has a world-class complementary fire service with uh, fantastic uh, people, and that's the reason that I'm very happy to take on this role. Um, I'm certainly not in the business of dictating to others, uh, whether it be unions or anyone else, about how they should communicate to the community. Uh, however, uh, if I was a UFU, this is not the way I would choose to communicate um, in the way that they have done, but it is un ultimately a fundament fundamentally a matter for the UFU. I am extremely proud of the efforts of all of our firefighters, whether they be career or volunteer members. They're highly trained, they provide world-class world complementary service to our community and often at great risk of personal... Uh, to, of, of, great risk of their own personal health and safety. The substance of the UFU's campaign directs communities to the Fire District Review Panel, which has commenced a legislative four-year review process that will be completed by June 2024. The Fire District Review Panel has been established in legislation to independently advise on whether any changes uh, in fire risk require changes to the fire district boundaries. Um, and I certainly welcome any community engagement in relation to this conversation. Um, the review is ongoing. Um, many members of the community will have views in relation to this. There will be factors that the panel consider, including population growth, service demand and land use. I look forward to seeing this work progress and continuing to focus on ensuring that our fire services meet the demands of community, regardless of where they live in Victoria now and into the future. On the supplementary. Well, President, um, members of the chamber will be aware that volunteer firefighters in the CFA are the lifeblood of many local communities around Victoria. They're teachers, tradesmen, uh, office workers, single parents, students, until they put their uni uniform on to serve their community. And I note that you've said that it is not the way I would choose to communicate. And in that spirit, I wonder whether you will commit to meet with volunteer representatives to hear how much this divisive campaign is tearing them apart. I know I am. I live in Broadford. Where do you live, right? I speak with volunteers in the supermarket quite regularly. My email is being filled with emails of people that have views on this thing. I have spent the last six years of being the member for Northern Victoria, travelling around country areas, and there's not many areas where you don't meet a firefighter. I'll continue to do so. Yeah.